Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are here in the small town of Rigo, Quebec, Canada. And we are here uh, in between Saint Viateur and Gare Streets. And right in front of us is the abandoned train station at Rigo. This station was open for more than a century. It was actually the westernmost point of the Vaudreuil Hudson line. But in 2010, the town of Rigo decided to stop paying the annual fee. And so service to Rigo stopped. And now it was uh, cut back to Hudson, consequently. So this is what's left of it. This is my first time actually ever seeing this. It looks incredibly desolate. There is nobody around. I mean, for obvious reasons. So as you can see, the station building is blocked off. And so we're gonna see. So this is, oh, let me just go that way. Charlebois Street in Saint Viata. So at the kind of at the corner of these two streets, I'm gonna have to step in a little bit of mud. There we go. Look at that. So that this is it. This was Rigo train station. It was up and running for a while, but as you can see. Look at the train tracks. They stop over there, and I mean, the, the grass has pretty much took over all of it. It has been over 13 years since trains ever came here. Ever since, I believe, June or July 2010, no trains have ever came back here. Zero trains. So this is the platform. It's very, very thin, as you can see. I'm pretty sure Hudson is, is thin too, like that. Because they're very, they're, they're definitely not used often. Also, it kind of, oh, there's like a little uh, bridge over there. I don't know if this was supposed to be, I don't know if the train track was supposed to go on it. I'm not actually sure. I don't know if it stops right there. But uh, yeah, this is a beautiful picture. I have visited Hudson, which is still active. And uh, good news, uh, they uh, increased the train frequency. So instead of one day, uh, not one day, one train in the morning and one train in the evening, it's three trains in the morning and three trains in the evening. So allows for more flexibility, right? So that's at least very good news. So I'm here in the evening. It's about 5.40 p.m. So now we're going to go this way. Let's look at the uh, station building. It looks... Yeah. I think it, uh, it was pretty beaten up. Kind of similar to the one in Hudson. Yeah, look at the lights. It's all boarded up here. And I guess they put these, they kind of uh, closed it just to protect it. I don't know if they're ever, ever gonna demolish it or if they're just gonna leave it here as kind of an historical landmark. I hope it's the latter option. Because this is fascinating. And I remember I've seen videos of uh, people, a lot of people coming in to, at this station on the last day of service. I think it was in, yeah, it was in summer of 2010. The last train to ever arrive at Rigo. That was definitely an historic moment. And I mean, it was a very controversial decision by Rigo to 
close this station because now the, the residents here, they only have one option to go to Montréal and Vaudreuil. It's to take bus 61. This is incredible. Uh, we briefly saw the train station when I did the, my first bus ride in Rigo in January, but it was too cold for me to step outside. So I just stayed in the bus and we watched it. Uh, we just passed, the bus passed right at the corner of these streets. We saw it briefly, but now I'm actually stepping off and visiting it for real. So now the temperature is 10 degrees. It was a very, very nice day in terms of the weather and the temperature. So we're going all the way to the end of the platform here. Pretty long platform for a, a station that was barely used. Maybe if I had to guess, maybe just a few hundreds of passengers per day, similar to Hudson. Maybe even less. I don't, I don't actually know, but yeah, definitely one of the least used station at that time. But it's still really sad to see that it was kind of abandoned and just left there to rot. And look at the sunset. That is, that is like the perfect setup for a picture. Like seriously. Of course, I'm going to take pictures after this video, but this is really cool. As you can see, the lanterns here. I don't actually know if they still work. Well, they probably don't. The light bulbs are probably all burnt. But yeah. This is crazy. I could follow this road if I want to, but it doesn't look very inviting. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of mud. So yeah. And uh, that's where the platform ends yeah this is crazy I'll actually just stand in the middle there's no danger by the way just to show you guys That looks very old. You can see what corrosion did basically. Like It's like all dirty now and it's surrounded by, it's been swallowed basically by the, by the grass and the, and the plants. Yeah, that's really incredible. I know it may not look like much, but for, for me, this is really something that I really wanted to see at least once in my life. Because you know, train stations or ruins of train stations, even that, that's something really, really interesting. And all the backstory behind the station, it's really fascinating. Yeah. I'm gonna take a lot of pictures. This is the, basically the perfect time. And look, the sun is setting. The sky is beautiful over there. There's like a lines of clouds. Look at that. Maybe that was a plane or something. I don't actually know, but yeah. So this is it pretty much. We go train station. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely one of, this is definitely going to remain one of my favorite videos that I've posted on this channel because not a lot of people get to go there and we go. I mean, it's in fair zone D. Uh, actually, when I took the bus, um, the um, Opus machine, the card reader was not working. So I got it for free. I don't know if that's going to be uh, temporary or if it's going to go on for a long period of time until further notice. I don't actually know, but if you guys do come to Rigo, this is something you guys must see because this is really, 
this is really, really interesting stuff. I'm going to say one final goodbye to the building here. There we go. So that's it for this video. Well, we'll just go around this side. Why not? Just go around as best as I can. It's all boarded up. What's inside will always remain a mystery, I guess. So yeah, that's it. gonna be it for this video of Rigo train station. Thank you guys so much for watching this amazing adventure. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, take care, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye, guys.